Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Burger and Frights, a game where I'm going to be sitting at home late at night and I get a craving for burgers. So I go to my nearest burger place, I pick a couple up, and now all I need to do is ride home. If you want a couple of burgers, look down below in the description. The links to the details are down there if you do want to play this for yourselves. I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end, whichever way you decide. But yeah, it's late. I should head home. So we've got some pretty basic controls here. It's right-hand traffic. And I even get a bell. So, onto the road we go. Let's head home. Yeah. I've heard good things about this one. Looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to be terribly long, but uh, yeah, it should be a good one. I really do like the title, Burger and Frights. What was that? To another? Hmm. Someone to sleep up here, maybe? Okay. View distance isn't that great. Thankfully, I've got a light on the bike. You can see the burger in the basket down there. That's a lovely detail. You can even see me pedaling. Right, I should probably focus on the road. Some of the lights don't seem to be working all that well. I do love that bell. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, there are other people on the road, so yeah, let's stay on the right side. And hopefully I don't get rear-ended. I do like the fact that I can look over my shoulder, though. Nice. Okay. I can't think of too many horror games when you're on a bike. Hang on. Hmm. Okay. That's a bit weird. I don't know if someone just abandoned that and then ran off into the forest, or you know, was that like a hit and run or something? Either way, let's keep on cycling, because I don't want that to happen to me. So, uh, yeah. This way. <laughs> I assume it's this way. Right. Oh! Falling someone, I think. Is it safe? It seems safe. Huh. That... Whoa. Whoa. It's late. I should... <laughs> okay. What the hell was that about? Was I dreaming? Was that some weird premonition? I've still got the bell. Okay, let's, let's, let's turn back. Let's go this way. Maybe this is the way home. Can I leave? <laughs> Yeah. I ah, oh, no fun allowed, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Well, um, let's go down the road like we did before, and let's see what happens, shall we? Hmm. Okay. Does that look different? That bag? I don't know. Manella, yeah. I, I I don't really know what that means, but I assume there's somewhere to, to sleep. Somewhere to rest up here. Okay. Ooh, shit. Was that scarecrow there before? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Didn't pay too much attention to the field, to be honest. Um, okay. So, yeah, is this going to happen the same way? Am I going to see someone driving in a minute? Yes, I am. It's the same guy. Okay, so pretty soon, just over, you know, the next hill, I'm going to see a bike on the floor. Just over here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's blood. There's blood and there's bloody footprints as well. Okay... Oh. Well, hang on, who's this? Okay. Were you cycling? Where did you go? Nice. Okay, once again, over the tracks. Not following a bike this time. Yep, okay, cool, cool. Right, this is where it sort of cut off before. Ah, oh, it's doing it again! It and we're back here. Oh god, it's late. I should head home still. Alright, looks like this place is just closed now. Right. I like this, yeah. Hmm. So what am I going to run into this time? Not really 
sure, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, let's persevere. Let's try and head home. Scarecrow? Yep. That Scarecrow's closer, isn't it? Or is that just me? Whoa, whoa! What the fuck happened there? Okay, I had very, very pale hands. Wait. What? That cyclist ahead of me. Oh. What in the hell? Alright, let's just keep on going. Yeah, that, that ghost-like cyclist ahead of me. Is that me? Was I seeing me? I don't really know. Okay, alright. Oh, damn. Loads more blood. Still the bloody footprints. Okay. Right. Let's head up there. Let's head to Siren Head, shall we? That's probably where I live. <laughs> okay. No woman this time? Oh, but we do have a train. Alright, let's, let's wait for the train. Okay. Alright. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, she's, she's getting closer. Is she holding something? Is that like a knife or something? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, fuck, she's gone. Oh. Okay. I think it's time to go. Whoa! Oh my goodness! I was not expecting that, holy shit! Right. So it's not just cars that I need to swerve around, not bikes on the floor, but whoa, fucking her as well! Jesus fucking Christ! Was that a tree that I just saw on the road too? Oh yeah, yep, yeah. okay. This is, uh, this is maybe not the safest way home. Holy shit. Right. Well, at least I'm not looping back anymore. You know, I'm actually... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm actually committing to going home now. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's, it's very low res, low poly and everything, but my god, it's still freaky. Taking the inside line here. Hoping for the best. Oh god, right. I don't know if I can run off the road. I don't want to find out, to be honest. Um... Okay. Let's just stay on the middle. If she's going to appear again, maybe I can swerve left, maybe right. Or maybe this is going to happen again. And we're back at the... <laughs> we're back at the burger place. But yeah, it's late. I should head home. Okay. Right, if she does that again, I'm using the bell. Maybe she'll get out of my way. <laughs> maybe that's the point. Okay, that bag has changed. Definitely. And so is the sign. It's a spiral now? What the hell is going on? Okay, there's actually no scarecrow. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And whoa! Okay. Alright, I, I wasn't aware that I was uh, taking a passenger. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm ringing my bell because I'm panicking. Oh boy. Well, the. Oh, he's fucking dead. Damn, this is cool! This is cool! This was inspired by games like Rides with Strangers and uh, John Carpenter, I think. Yeah! This is, this is pretty great, actually. Okay, we got the blood, but we got no bike. I'm just now thinking, is it- Whoa! Shit! Oh my goodness. I'm thinking it was my bike. And did I just see that bag wiggle? Yeah, I think my bike's got the same sort of colour, you know? It's that sort of dark reddish brown. Wait, what's this? We got a tunnel? Since when has there been a tunnel? Oh god. Right. Well, this is different. Maybe this is going to lead home. Yep, still heading towards the uh, the hill. Where was that? Okay, I'm seeing things here. 
I don't really want to look over my shoulder again, because that freaked me the fuck out. Okay. Are they like orbs? Ghosts? Some sort of spirit? Oh, Christ. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh, it's... It's him! Oh, what? Has that got eyes instead of headlights as well? Oh, come on! Cycle faster, buddy! Come on! <laughs> How has the adrenaline not kicked in yet? Oh, fuck me. Right. Just go. Oh, boy. Alright. Uh, whoa! Oh, shit. Okay, gotta swerve, gotta swerve. Okay, right. He's gaining. I gotta pay attention. I've really gotta pay attention here. Okay. Kind of like when I was swerving around here. If I stay on the middle of the road, I can maybe go right and left. I don't want to commit to one side too much. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, god damn. I... I don't know if he's gaining or not. So far, so good. But I cannot stop pedaling. If she appears in front of me as well, this is just cruel, you know? Oh, what? Oh, Christ. Okay, ah... Uh, shit. Oh! I left it behind. I left the car behind. Okay. Home? Down here? <laughs> Please get out of the way. Oh, not again! Should I just live here now? Genuinely though, this is really, really good. I was expecting it to be good, but this is better than I expected. Yeah, this is a good one. Right, so, what calamities am I going to face this time? Right, okay, is that like Spanish for tunnel or something? Hmm. Oh. Oh shit, it's actually looking at me. And no one is over my shoulder this time. Oh, but there you go. Ah. Yeah, is, is that me? I don't know. Oh god. Why aren't all the lights working? Come on. Or why aren't there more lights? Shit, okay. Uh well this is different. Okay. Going down into the right, it feels like. Sort of turning back on myself. Uh uh okay. Another tunnel. But a different one. Okay. Uh what is that? Is that the train going overhead or something? Sounds sort of vaguely Silent Hill. Industrial sound effects like that, yeah. Oh, okay. Why are you cycling so damn fast? And why can't I do the same? <laughs> okay. This is a long tunnel, and it feels like we're still going down. Oh. What the? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Go! 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 Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Go! 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 Get out of the way if there's anyone in the way! Okay, are we still- okay. Oh fuck me. No, seriously, get out of the way, guys. Okay, go in this way, go in this way. I'm cutting in between. Okay. Oh, there's so many of them, and... God, they, they do look like they're ghosts or something, or, or spirits? I don't know. Just keep on going. It's like the car before. I don't think I can really stop. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh. Cutting in between, cutting in between. It's working. She's still following. She's still behind me. Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 don't crash, don't crash, fucking hell, do not crash! I don't think I can afford to. Okay, oh, what? Oh, 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 Christ. One problem to another. Oh, okay, right, let, let's stay in the middle, let's not get grabbed. Where the hell am I going? 
Ooh. Oh. Oh no. Don't. Okay. Well, okay. Principle's the same. Stay in the middle. Cycle as fast as you fucking can. It's quite remarkable. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite a leisurely pace. You'd really think it'd, it'd try and speed up, but no. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Right. 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 So far, so good. So far, so good. Why am I being tormented like this? Oh shit! I I don't think I could have avoided that, right? There's no way I can turn around without getting mown down. Wait, no. What in the hell is going on now? Okay. The mission remains the same. Go home. Although, looking at the state of that bag, I... It's too late. Yeah, looking at the state of the bag, I don't think I really want to have the burgers anymore. What is this? Ooh, we're getting a little bit of cosmic horror as well, I think. Okay. We're get whoa, 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 hey, hey. Hi. Who the hell are you? Right, it keep on going. All right, they're, they're, they're gonna follow me. They're gonna follow me, okay. Um, maybe they're guiding me on the right path? I don't know. Maybe this is the racing line down the hill, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh-huh. Okay. See ya. Thanks for your help. Okay, right, where the hell are we going? Oh my god, that, that giant eclipse? It looks like an eye. This seems to be thinning out a little bit. <laughs> What's this gonna be, a jump? Oh, there is something. What is that? Oh, is that a way out? An exit? Can I leave? Oh, oh god, no I can't. Oh, oh fuck me. <laughs> oh no, not again. Why are you doing this? Ooh, en enough. I oh. Oh god. Is that... Who is that? You do not belong. I yeah, I I send me back to my own dimension, please. <laughs> I'm not too fond of this one. All right. Okay. So yeah, was I in the, the spiral dimension or something there? Oh, okay. I'm inside a car. Wait, was I that guy at the wheel? At the beginning? You know, he was smashing his head on the... Oh. Oh, was that her? Maybe that's why she was tormenting me. I thought that would have been me and my bike. Okay, well, I, I came down on the wrong side of that. You subverted my expectations, game. Have a nice meal. Fantastic. I, I did have a nice meal, actually. Didn't get to eat the burgers, but I did get to experience a really great game. I really hope you enjoyed that. I... I love this, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another one very soon. I do love that bell. <laughs> it's late, I should have... <laughs> okay. I... Ah. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck happened there? Is that like a knife or something? Whoa. Okay, I think it's time to go. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Well, at least I'm not looping back anymore. You know, I'm actually... Whoa! Whoa! Right, if she does that again, I'm using the bell. Maybe she'll get out of my way. <laughs> no scarecrow. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And whoa! Cycle faster, buddy! Come on! <laughs> How has the adrenaline not kicked in yet? What the? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Go, go, go! Ooh. I Oh no! There's no way I can turn around without getting mown down. Wait, no. Okay. We're get whoa, 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 hey, hey. Wait, was I that guy at the wheel? At the beginning? You know, he was smashing his head on the... Oh. Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, I'll be playing a game called Security Booth, and if you want to play this for yourselves, you can actually download this one for free. Just follow the link down below in the description. Now, in Security Booth, I'm going to be playing as a security guard inside that booth, deciding who I let through the gates onto the site. What am I going to do with all that power? Let's find out as I begin a new game. Really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end. But this is Security Booth, and I'm looking forward to this one. Apparently this one has two endings, so I'll probably go through it twice. And here we are. Outside the site, in the booth. So what have we got here? Job rules? Okay, so let's see. I've got to make sure to talk to the person in the car. They've got to work here. Check the license plate. Uh, and then check the license plate against the employee register. I only open the gate to employees. Is that this? Okay, list the names, list the regs. Five pages worth? Or ten pages worth? Right, okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Kinda snuck up on me there. That's probably not a good sign, but um, how does this work? Uh, great night we're having. Good things to come, I think. Mind letting me in? I guess we'll see about that. Mr. G1269R. Whoever that is. Let's see. Do you belong? Are you in the register? Uh, not on the first couple of pages, I'm sorry to say. Or on the next two. It's not looking good, is it? Uh, oh, Stefan! Right, Stefan! Yes, of course! I didn't recognize you through the windshield! Are you going to let me in? Uh, yes, I'll get the gate open now. Somehow. Is there a lever, a button? I guess there's something in the booth. Ah. Ah, oh, okay, we got two buttons. There you go. And so what, this one's for the other side? That's the outgoing? Got ya. Okay, well, in you go. Have a great night shift. So, uh, what is this? This is Nova Nexus. And apparently we can't go in, unfortunately. Right, well, um, can I leave? Can I end my shift a little bit early? <laughs> ah, of course I can't. Invisible barrier. Never mind. Well, I don't want to leave the gate open, to be honest. How do that one closes by itself, but that one doesn't. There you go, there you go. Oh, just in the nick of time, you could have just broken in. Right, uh, so, hi. Quiet night. But that's nice. Today just feels like it's going to be hell. Let me in. Uh, we'll see about that, won't we? Leo. <laughs> Leo, do you belong? I'm looking for a Leo. Leo N31, I believe. Oh, there he is. It's Louis. Of course it's Louis. It's the Looster. Right. In you go. He's the best. Right. I should mention, I've actually done this. I, I did this for a few months, a few years ago, when I was working security. It wasn't in front of Nova Nexus, and it wasn't in the middle of a city. It was in the middle of nowhere, actually. It was a, an, an industrial site uh, for BOC Gases, if you've ever heard of that company. And uh, generally speaking, it was a lot easier to determine who was to be let on the site or not. If they were driving a BOC Gases tanker, generally you let them in. Or like an articulated lorry or a low loader, something like that. If they were driving up in just, I don't know, a fucking... Corsa or something. They're probably not meant to be there. But yeah. This guy has a booth. I had a fucking bus stop. Uh, right, so, who's this guy? I'm not bitter or anything. <laughs> Almost pulled a sick day, but today is just too important to miss. Let me know when I can go in. Alright. Good B01. Are you going in today? I'm looking for a good boy. You are not there. Or there. But you are in fact George Phillips, so I'm going to let you through. Have a great night shift, George. Enjoy your stay at Nova Nexus. Whatever you're doing there. 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, in you go. Yeah, so I had a bus stop, and I didn't actually have a table or a chair for the first week that I was doing it. So I was just standing there in a bus shelter while it was raining, with a fob in my hand. I didn't have any buttons or anything, it was just a fob. And, uh... It was alright. <laughs> but man, oh man, it's a long, long shift. 12-hour shift, just standing up or pacing back and forth. My legs were sore. XT2M28. Who's this guy? Night shift again? I hear that. I doubt tonight will drag on too much. Not for me, at least. Uh, can I go in? XT2, was it? XT2. Can you go in? Great question. Uh... XT2 M28. Mario! It's Mario! Of course you can go in, Mario! Seems like nobody actually wants to come out. <laughs> Everyone's going in, no one's coming out. Alright, so there goes Mario. <laughs> Drifting around the corner there. Okay. Oh shit, what's this? I didn't notice this. Uh, the excitement is a rush. We're so close to finishing the experiment. We've had a few accidents. Someone called Natasha died last week, but hang on. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Error code. Zero. Five. Zero. Four. Seven. Seven. What does that mean? Error code. Zero. Five. Zero. Okay, 050477. Is there like a, a code register or something? Uh, is it in the rules? Is there something else around here? Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, we got someone else coming in, right? Okay, hang on, hang on, sir. Don't go through the gate. AU8, okay. Rather be at home playing games, but I got called in for an emergency. Could you let me in? Uh, maybe. We'll see. I haven't actually had to turn anyone away quite yet. So, who might you be? Uh, no one here. Oh, I might have to turn you away. Who are you? Oh, Ellen Brown! Ellen writes, of course. Of course it is! Or at least I assume so. <laughs> You're driving her car at the very least. Alright, well, in you go. So, what's going on here tonight, exactly? Is this typical? Do people just turn up for a night shift? Or is there... Is there something special going on? Is it something to do with this experiment? I don't know precisely when this is. This, is this like, you know, midnight? 1, 2 a.m.? I think it said right at the beginning, didn't it? Like, what time it was? Oh uh, yeah, I missed that. Alright, just pacing round and round. Oh, hang on. Who's this guy? Just parked on the side of the road. Now he's staring at me. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. You better not try and follow this guy in. That is, if you're allowed in, Mr. FA5. Another late night? Yeah, same. Mind letting me in? Hmm, okay. He's just standing. On the road. He could get run over like that, what the fuck? Okay, let's see. FA5. Yeah, let's see. Andreas! Andreas, of course, yes! Go in, go in. But, uh, not so sure about this guy. I can't get any closer, unfortunately. He just looks like a shadow or a silhouette or something. It's kind of weird. You've got, you got no features. Right, well, either way, he's not getting in. Not without going through me. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Off he goes. Interesting. This might be the first time that it's felt a little bit more like a horror game. I, I feel a little bit uneasy now. Hmm. Okay. I reckon we're going to be seeing that car again. Yeah. Can I just call someone? Oh, hang on, what was that? No one's on the line. Did I just get... Hang on, hang on. I think I just got like a, a knock. Really did 
sound like some- Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell just happened there? Oh, the phone's go- Oh, hang on, there's a- Okay, there's something there, but the phone's going. Let's try the phone. System failure. Oh god, what? System failure. System failure. Sounds like something exploded. Alright. And what's this? Maybe this is what I heard. Okay, so if the director keeps running his goddamn tests, we'll never get to open classified. With classified and classified, it would only take a short amount of time to complete. Hang on a minute. Is this that fucking car? Let's see. This is Nova Nexus HQ, right? Today's my first day and I got a little lost and running late. Mind letting me in? I don't like this, DE4. T93. DE4 T93, okay. Well, if it's your first day, you're likely not to be on the register, but honestly, if you're not on the register, you're not allowed in, right? And if you knew this was the place, why didn't you just turn in? You got a little lost? Nah, bullshit. You fucking stood out there and you looked. You're not here. Nah, mate, you are not here. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, you'll have to call someone and get them to meet you down here or something. I'm not letting you in. And off he goes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Lots of drifting in this game, it seems like. Okay. That was weird. He came with odd sound effects as well. Hmm. What the fuck was that explosion, though? What's going on back there? I wish I could go around and investigate. And what are these talking about? Oh, hang on, hang on. Another phone call. Okay. No, I don't like this at all, no. So this one was like, what? Yeah, finishing the experiment. Someone called Natasha died last week, apparently. Actually, is Natasha... Is Natasha in this book, in this register? Ooh. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, what the hell is going on? Wait. Wait a minute, there's another one! There's another one! The director is still running tests. I'm going to shoot him if this goes on any longer. What the hell is going on here? Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not at my station, not at my post. Hold up! <laughs> Help me. Uh, oh, I don't like this. RE8031. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what the hell? I didn't let you in, did I? I... What's this? Emergency. Oh dear. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Security weapons activated. What? Oxygen level reducing. What? Your families will be informed of your death. Emergency. Oh. Emergency. Lockdown. What the fuck are you talking about? Oxygen levels? Wait, what? For those inside the site, maybe, not me. What the hell is going on here? Right, hang on, hang on. What was it? R RE8? 031? Uh, I think I hear an engine. Give me a sec. I said, give me a sec, Natasha. Natasha Singh. The, the, like the dead Natasha? Oh! Right. Here we go. Someone actually wants to get out. Well, no surprise if there's an explosion. Uh, well, to be honest, I suppose <laughs> I'm not going to really check the register. I'm just going to let you out. There you go. Man, that's... it's kind of freaky, honestly. Oh, hang on. There's another one over there, I think. Finally, the experiment has been improved. I'm so excited. I really feel that Classified will really change this company and the world for the better. Looks like it's coming together now. 
after the weekend, it's time for the experiment. As long as we don't get error... That error code that I got earlier, which never happens, everything will go great! Well, it didn't, did it? What's up with this car? Why'd you park there? Oh, gee! What the fuck was that? Was that a... I think a car just came down from space or something? Maybe it was shot up from the explosion and it just landed on that unfortunate soul? Okay, that, that was ending one. Alright, there is another ending to this game. How do I get it? Well, I, I probably just let that guy in, I would think, right? I think I did my job fairly well this time, so next time I'm just gonna let everyone through and see what happens. Look who it is. It's the new guy. Careful, don't run me over. <laughs> so I know you're not actually in the book, but uh, yeah, today's your first day. You got a little lost, you're running late. Mind letting you in? Mm. Well, I'll just make sure you're not in the book. And you are definitely not. Nevertheless, I believe you. You're going in. Enjoy. Maybe you can help with the explosion, the system failure? Yeah. Well, we're about to find out as he drifts round the corner. <laughs> okay, so things are going to deviate from here, I suppose. Alright, hang on, hang on. Getting a phone call again. Okay, that's not good. That isn't good. Uh, isn't Natasha gonna turn up and say, help me, in a moment? Is that what happens next? Oh no, it's that! Right, so... Yeah, that, I think, is either meant to signify that I'm meant to look this way, and look at that. Or, or something else, maybe, but yeah, there you go. Another sheet, another bit of paper. So it's that one, that one, that one, then it's that one over there. I don't know if there is a fifth. Right, yeah, this is... this is Natasha. And again, she disappears. I wonder, actually, what would happen if I just let her in. Maybe I don't answer the phone. Maybe she doesn't disappear. Wait, oh, hang on. Yeah, maybe she just goes in. Emergency. Right. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Mm. Security weapon activated. Oxygen level reducing. Your families will be informed of your death. Lovely. Emergency. That's the end of that, right, okay. Uh... Who else? It's just someone coming out next, isn't it? I don't know if there's anyone else going in. What the hell's going on here? Oh, damn. Oh, well this didn't happen last time. Oh, that fucking new guy. Oh, shit. I'm gonna hide my booth. I'm gonna hide my booth. Glad I... Please, someone answer the phone. Oh, there you go. That was ending two. That was our families being contacted after our deaths, presumably. Right, okay, so, don't let the new guy in. <laughs> Whoever the fuck that guy was, that dark, shadowy silhouette. Alright. Well, there you go, that was Security Booth, and they were the two endings. I enjoyed that, yeah, there was something very sinister and eerie about that. I wish I knew a little bit more about what was going on in Nova Nexus, this experiment. I wish I knew exactly who that guy was. Was he just trying to sabotage everything? Well... Seems like whether he wanted to or not, he did. But there you go. Yeah, that was actually quite a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Right, okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> kind of snuck up on me there. Oh, Stefan! Right, Stefan! Yes, of course! I didn't recognize you through the windshield! This guy has a booth. I had a fucking bus stop. Uh, right, so, who's this guy? I'm not bitter or anything. <laughs>
All right, so there goes Mario. <laughs> Drifting around the corner there. All right, just pacing round and round. Oh, hang on. Who's this guy? Really did sound like some... Whoa, what the fuck? Another phone call. Is Natasha in this book, in this register? Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa. Whoa, 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 what the hell? I didn't let you in, did I? Uh, I think I hear an engine. Give me a sec. I said, give me a sec! Oh, gee! What the fuck was that? I'm trying to summon the piece of paper. There it is! <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, well, this didn't happen last time. Oh, that fucking new guy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, I'll be playing a game called Dispatch, and if you want to play it for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links and the details are down there, and you can actually get this one for free. Now, in this game, I'm going to be playing as a police dispatcher who has to deal with a very disturbing phone call. And based on my decisions, the story is going to progress in many different ways. So... Hopefully, I make the right decisions. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end, alright? What's my password? <laughs> Seems like I can't enter pretty much anything I want here, but, uh, I don't know what it is. I, well, password? Let's try that. Does it matter? Is that my password? That's my password. Amazing. Okay, here we are. Oh, okay, we're getting a live one. Hey there, son. Ah. Hi, Chief. I noticed that you haven't been filling out the reports on the calls you've been doing recently. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... What happened? Like I said to you before, this isn't on you. Okay. No one's blaming you. For what? He shouldn't have gone in the way he did. He should have waited for the right people to come and... Like I said, no one's blaming you for that. Okay. Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? Right. Okay. I hope you feel better soon. I'll keep in touch. Oh, thanks, Chief. Right, so I think my reports are going to be on this left monitor over here. So there's minor and major incidents. It looks like these were both resolved. This bottom one, a young man shot and killed in attempted robbery outside of a... Oh, hang on, hang on. Is this a we real one? We need an ambulance, It quick. is. It's a real one. Okay, they need an ambulance and... Right, okay, so this game actually does have voice recognition, so I can press one or two, I can click it, or I can say it. So, let's see, um... Calm down and tell me what has happened. He's it going works. to die! Oh god, how could I let this happen? Okay, so that's, that's where it's coming from. Someone's gonna die, right, who, who's going to die? Gus is! Gus? What's happened to him? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. He's eaten a whole Snickers bar, right. Uh, uh, is he allergic to nuts? Is he allergic to nuts? There you well, go, the second time. <laughs> no, but dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? Oh, right, I see, I see. Okay, um... He'll be fine, just call a vet. There you go, okay. Voice recognition actually seems like it's working pretty well. Okay, so can I close this out? This actually isn't so much of an emergency. Ah, look at this. Oh, okay, so that call lasted 52 seconds. Um, can't stuck up a tree. No, uh... Dog ate chocolate. There you go. Minor. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. It's submitted. I, I guess it's resolved as well. Or it will be. Okay. Right. Another one? Finally! I was beginning to think I would never get an answer. Okay. Uh, this is 911. What's your emergency? That wasn't <laughs> this much is of good. an apology. An apology? What? What's the emergency? I am being forced out of this shop unwillingly. What? You're being forced Ooh, out of the yeah. shop? We've got an hour ago, man. <laughs> I am a paying customer, and you cannot force me to leave. 
Mm, but maybe I can. Um, what is your name? You don't have the right to know my name. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you. All right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot help you. No, that doesn't even work. Okay. I'm just going to press one. Useless. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. <laughs> I bet you will. Okay. Uh, glad to be of service. <laughs> oh, let's see. So I got a report about that one. Yeah, okay, that's Miner and that's Karen. There you go. Simple. Simple. I think everyone will understand. Right. Okay. Your fault? Things... Things are changing, aren't they? Right, okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, 911, what's your emergency? Hello? Someone is trying to get into my house. Okay, you seem surprisingly calm, but all right, what is your address? All right, what is your address? <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but okay, it looks like that's the sort of area. Uh, do you know who they are? It's got to be my ex-husband. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. Hmm, okay. Um, is he being threatening? He's trying all the doors and asking to see her. Yeah, okay. Sounds pretty threatening to me. Um, asking to see who? Sophie? She's our daughter. Oh, she okay, right. Me. He gets visits. Hmm. And he, uh, and I think he wants to make an impromptu visit right now. Okay, uh, I'll get a unit on the way to help calm things. Yeah. Okay. Ah! <sighs> Damn. All right. Oh, no! oh, hang on. He's broken in. Tell him to hurry. Oh. What? What? What the hell is? Okay. What? What? Uh, I'm. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, he's broken in. Tell him to hurry. A, a unit's on the way. Stay calm. Oh wait. No. 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 I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Can you hide yourself somewhere? Yes. Me and Sophie are going to, but he'll try to find her. Okay. Right, well, they are on the way. You can see that. Okay, um... You may have to confront him. The unit is going to take some time. I definitely shouldn't have said that. Why did I say that? I'm going to give the phone to my daughter and try to talk to him. Okay, hopefully this doesn't go terribly badly. Um... Okay, yeah, all right. But is he, if he's aggressive, go to your daughter. Right. He won't... Stop until he finds her. Hmm, okay. Uh, can you pass me to your daughter? Okay. I feel like I've made terrible decisions already, but let's Hello? just go with it. Uh, hi, Sophie. Um, are you okay? Yes. My mom said I needed to talk to you. Right. What's going on? What's going on? Well, there's a lot going on, apparently. Um, right. I need you to stay where you are. Your mum is going to talk to your dad. Yeah. My dad is here? Apparently. He said he was going to come last week, but he didn't. Ah, he missed his appointment, did he? Okay. Um, maybe he forgot, but he can't see you now. Are they playing hide and seek? Not exactly, no, no. Um, no, they've gone to play somewhere else. All right. Oh, bloody hell, that unit stopped for far too long. It is still on the way, though. Okay, hang on. Does that say coward over there? I can't oh, really no. have a look at that, but... They're shouting again. God damn, okay, they're shouting. Right. Right. I, I don't need to be looking at that monitor, really, to, to have the conversation. I don't know why, but... um. Right, okay, so... um. It's okay. Where are you in the house? I'm... I'm downstairs. Okay. In the living room. Right. Um... Where are your parents? They're... They're breaking things in the kitchen. Oh dear. Can you... Can you stop them? I wish I could. This is actually quite uncomfortable. Um... I can try, but you need to hide from them. Just in okay. case, right? I'm gonna run past them and go into my room. Okay. 
Best of luck. I suppose all this time I could be writing a report. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stop it. Stop it. Let her go. No one's at the window again, thankfully. Right. Um, this, this I think is probably going to be a major one, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need to note all these things down. Okay, the police unit is still on the way, but... What was that? The fuck? That wasn't there before. Was that it? How the... Uh, 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 uh. Sophie, are you okay? Am I okay? <laughs> Wait, my mommy. Mom. Ooh. Oh no. Oh dear. Right, I, I can fill this out later on, I think. That okay. She's not safe, I'm not safe. What's going on here? Is this related to this incident that happened before? Um what has happened, Sophie? Oh no. Bleeding on the floor. How far away are they? They've still got quite a way to go, I suppose. Um, right. Uh, where are you now? I'm, I'm upstairs in my room. Okay. I can, I can hear him breaking stuff. Right, okay. Um, yeah, that's right. Does your door have a lock on it? No, but I, I could put a chair in front of it. Okay. I did it once. That's not a bad idea. It's better than nothing, right? Okay. Um... Okay, do that. It shouldn't be long now for help to arrive. Please help my mom. Oh, oh, I can smell burning. Burning? To be honest, it sounds like I'm hearing the sound of fire in the background, is it? I don't really know. Maybe it's not fire, maybe it's rain. We will help her. We'll try at the very least. Come on, guys. Oh. What the? I think, I think he's upstairs. Like, I can hear him walking there, but I can feel the vibrations here. This is fucking weird. That's her toy, isn't it? Maybe I'm reliving the incident or something. Anyway, push the chair against the door. Right. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll try. I, I'm putting the phone down. Okay. Okay, well, it, it seems they're just round the corner, so that's good. So, are you in there? That's Sophie's dad trying to get into me. It's like I'm Sophie. This is weird as hell. Right. I'm sorry. Please come out. Right. He's sorry. Yeah. I think we'll let the police deal with this. Uh, are they just parking there and walking across? Are they? Are they going to move? Okay. That didn't sound good. Do you think he's gone? The smoke is getting really bad. Oh God. Oh dear, um... I'm sure he's fine. Can you hear the sirens yet? I hope you can. Yes! Yes! I, I can hear them outside! Good! Yes, please, please! I can hear them too. Okay. Dispatch, this is Unit 8908 approaching right. the property now. Right. We need fire services here ASAP. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'll get some on the way. The child is trapped inside. Two. <laughs> Damn it. The fire is very intense. The first floor is in gulf. Okay, that's not good. Um, right. Uh, the kid is in her room upstairs. She's blocked the door. We might be able to get in and out in time if okay. we knew which room she was in. Right, well, I, I guess they don't have a plan of the house or anything. Right, uh, Sophie, I need you to go to a window and open it. No, there's too much smoke. Oh, come on. Tell them to come and find me. I don't think they can. Oh, this is going to end terribly, isn't it? Uh, go to a window. They'll be able to figure out where you are. Please trust me. Please trust me? <laughs> sometimes the voice recognition works like a dream. Sometimes it doesn't, so it's going to be a one from me, dog. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, well done. Please be quick. I see her. Stay there, kid. Okay. We're coming. Yes! Ideal! Okay, so... Everything's okay? Where's the dad, though? I mean... 
I guess the dad's out there. Maybe I saw the dad out here. I'm not really sure. Right. The call's still going. I guess the, uh, you know, the unit's dealing with them right now. Right, so emergency. I can type whatever the hell I want. I mean, does it, does it matter? Do I need to fill in? Okay, that, that was my report, apparently. Um, probably could have filled it out a little bit better than that. Uh, so that's that, right? It's all this, your fault, and the... Oh, that's gone. What the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Come here, kid. I got you. It's all right. We're getting out of here. What? Oh! What the hell was that? That came out of nowhere! And that's the end! Oh my god, I was not ready for that. I was not expecting that. Wow, that was that was really quite unique. I really liked the voice recognition. It worked most of the time, like 90% of the time. And I think, to be honest, when it wasn't working, it was because I was doing the commentary and then just continuing on with the sentence. I was probably confusing it, but yeah. Absolutely fantastic game, very unexpected ending. Um, it seemed like I made some bad decisions, but in the end it actually did work out okay. Uh, maybe there's a sort of like a better ending when, you know, the dad is caught. Sophie's okay, the mum's okay. I don't- I still don't know if the mum's okay. Probably not, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that ending. That was mad. That was wild. And that was Dispatch. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I'll see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Calm down and tell me what has happened. He's what? going to die! This is 911. What's your emergency? <laughs> wasn't this much is good. <laughs> oh, let's see. So I got a report about that one. Yep, yeah, okay, that's minor, and that's Karen. There you go. Damn. All right. Oh, no! Oh, hang on. He's broken in. Tell him to hurry. Oh. Can you Can you stop him? I wish I could. This is actually quite uncomfortable. Okay, the police unit is still on the way, but... What was that? The fuck? Go to a window. They'll be able to figure out where you are. Please trust me. Please trust me? It's all this, your fault, and the... Oh, that's gone. What the hell? Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Come here, kid. <laughs>
you call this loud? Yes, it is! You're disturbing the peace. <laughs> I bet you're the only one complaining. You're too uptight. If the neighbor says it's too loud, I'll think about it. Watch me. You wait right here. Okay, so I've got to go deal with the neighbor, right? Yep, go ask. I will, I will. Just watch me. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there anyone in? Are you home? Anybody there? Probably not home. Hmm, apparently they seem to be away a lot. Okay. Away? You sure it's not just an empty room? Of course they don't complain if nobody lives there. No, it isn't empty. Sometimes I hear the door opening and, and closing. Doesn't seem to be anyone around today, though. Hmm. Okay. So, is that it? Well, go ask. Well, I, I, I guess I can... Oh. Hi. <laughs> Someone was in there. It's like they're wearing three or four trench coats there. Yeah. That was a bit weird. She was home? But kind of freaky, too. That's the first time I ever seen her. Why all the black? Uh, who's this? What's going on? Oh, was someone down the hall. Could you argue somewhere else, please? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe he's going to go back to the room, and I'm going to go back to mine. Well, let's have a chat. Who lives next door? Uh, excuse me, can I ask you something? I'm from downstairs. Does the loud music from that apartment bother you too? Well, a little, but our rooms are separated. You should ask his next door. Well, I, I just tried, but yeah, she just left. And there isn't anyone else? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure more women are living there. A strange bunch. They all have a different figure. But they dress completely in black. And they never say anything. Not even a hello. Very unfriendly, if you ask me. Hmm. If that's all, dear, I still have some laundry to do. Have a nice day. Uh, thanks. Have a nice day. Well, at least someone up here is friendly. Uh, yeah, that's weird and all. But it doesn't really help me with the noise. No, it doesn't. Yeah, better get back to my room to try some more studying. Okay. We'll just have to put up with it, I suppose. So far, this is this is very accurate to the uh, to the manga. I'm quite impressed, actually. Okay, so back here. I don't suppose I want a drink now, do I? No, I'm I'm still not thirsty. Not yet. Okay, let's go in. Yeah, this is this is cool. Even in pixel art, she did look. Pretty creepy, I'll, I'll give it that. Right, okay, so just over here. It oh, hey! The music stopped! What happened? Yeah, what happened? What caused that? After all that trouble he gave me. Oh well, I can finally do some studying. Studying in peace and quiet. And look at that transition! That was fantastic! That was great! Phew! It's already dark. I could really use a drink. Right, okay, well, we know there's a vending machine outside, so let's go pay it a visit. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is cool. I'd like to see this developer recreate a few more of Junji Ito's stories, actually, in this style. I'd certainly play them. I just hope... No one gets sued, you know? <laughs> okay, so... There you go. Oh, It's that guy from upstairs. Hey! What are you doing there? Hmm. Oh! It's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. What's gotten into you? You're white as a sheet. Can I ask you something? Sure. Those ladies next door to me. What's up with them? What do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. 
I don't know how many people live there, but they never make a single sound. And with these thin walls, I should at least be able to hear them talk or move around or something. Turn around. It's freaking me out. Ah! <laughs> She's, uh, she's pretty tall. And off she goes up the stairs, back to her room. <laughs> Weird. Who are they? What things are they doing next door? What are they doing that not a single sound leaks through those walls? Yeah, I'm going back to my room. Yeah, I've had enough of your shit. This is this is too freaky. See you around. <laughs> Bye. Right. I got my drink. That's all I came for. So uh, let's go. Oh, what was that? It sounded like it came from upstairs. Nevertheless, I'm just gonna go back to my room. Right. I I think I can. I Oh no, the scream came from upstairs. Don't check it out. You don't have to check it out. You don't have to follow the manga. <laughs> oh boy, I think in this case you probably do. Okay, let's see. Oh, the guy's gone. Was it him that was screaming? Wait, did... What was that? Looks like a, a scream mask, you know? Like Ghostface. Hey, that was a cat? Right. Whose cat is this? It has a cursed face. Moving on. <laughs> That's a giant cat as well. It's almost as big as me. Wow. Okay. Oh, I love the details in this. I really do. Okay. So... I can't check on that nice lady. I'm going to ignore the bug on the wall. Can't knock on that door. What? Okay, what about this one? Hello? Hello? Are you okay? The door seems to be open. So we can go in. We can go in. What's going on up here? That's weird. Nobody's home. Hmm. What's that loud? Yeah, he certainly was. Alright, we've got a, an open window. A little bit of a breeze outside, by the looks of it. He's just not here, right? They really don't make any sound. That is strange. Hey, there's a hole over there. Where? I <laughs> that must have been the wind, yeah. Must have been the wind. Yeah, the hole in the wall. Let's see. How did this get here? It looks made. Maybe that guy did it. Yeah. Maybe he was keeping an eye on the neighbours. Oh, oh, I see. We've got to hold it down. Right. There she is. Unscrewing her arm. Wow. What long arms and legs you have. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was really good. What is okay? We're still gonna look through. I I don't think this is a good idea. Honestly, you should probably go back to your room. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Time to. Oh shit. Oh. Boy. Yeah. Time to go. What is she? Those limbs. Why do they extend and contract? Does this mean all of those women with different figures were exactly the same woman? I think so. I think so. Right, it... Oh. Oh, I think she's making noise now. Where's she going? Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm going to the window to make an escape. Hope you don't mind. If she comes in, I'm going out. You know what I mean? I don't hear her. Okay. Oh. 
Did she leave? Maybe she did. Yeah, maybe she went down the stairs. Maybe that's what I was hearing. Can I look through again? No, okay. Probably for the best. Let's just go home, alright? Go to bed. She could still be in the hallway. Uh, that's true, I suppose. Um, well, do we actually have to use the window then? It's the only other option, isn't it? <laughs> She's extended. <laughs> So cool! I mean, it's creepy as hell, but it's really cool. Okay, I'm actually in control here. Right, get to the door, come on. Okay, I'm walking like a fucking spider. Ah! What just happened? I don't remember how the story ends, I gotta be honest. I, I escaped just in time. As if nothing happened, the woman continued to reside next door. I'm moving away as fast as I can. Right. Understandable. Very understandable. And that was Next Door. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. But yeah, let me know what you thought. I thought this was brilliant. I thought this was fantastic. I really enjoyed playing through this. Uh, it was short, yes, but it was sweet. It was creepy, it was freaky, and it was a very faithful, accurate recreation of the manga, based on my memory of it at the very least. Especially the scene with her climbing through the window. That was almost like a, a shot for shot remake there. That was almost perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, if I had to, if I had to say that there was something negative about it, I suppose because of what it's based on, because it is trying to follow these story beats, it's linear. There's not a lot of interactivity. Um, I suppose it's got to be that way, though, really. And I really don't mind that. But yeah, this is like a cinematic 2D side-scrolling walking simulator. So maybe that's not for everyone, but I really didn't mind it. To be honest, I hope that there's going to be more games based on his stories. Much like this. Yeah, uh, they can be 2D, they can be side-scrolling, they can use the same sort of pixel art. I thought the pixel art worked very well. Um, but yeah, I just hope that no one actually does get in trouble for this. This stays up, this stays available for downloads. Uh, and maybe we'll see more games in this style based on his stories in the future. Because as much as I like The Woman Next Door, there are far better to choose from, in my opinion. Far creepier, far freakier far scarier. So, maybe. Maybe we'll get some of those. Maybe we'll get the entirety of Uzumaki in this form, but I doubt it. But hey, a man can hope, right? A man can dream. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. You call this loud? Yes, it is! Well, go ask. Well, I, I, I guess I can... Oh, in peace and quiet. And look at that transition! That was fantastic! That was great! I should at least be able to hear them talk or move around or something. Turn around. Oh. What was that? Don't check it out. You don't have to check it out. You don't have to follow the manga. <laughs> There's a hole over there. Where? I <laughs> uh, must have been the wind, yeah. Must have been the wind. Okay, we're still gonna look through. I, I don't think this is a good idea, honestly. You should probably go back to your room. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's so cool! Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Nightmare Shift, a game where I'm going to be working alone late at night in the office when strange things start to occur. If you want to try this out for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links, the details are all down there, and for now you can actually download this for free. Really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end, like or dislike the video, but here we go. It's Nightmare Shift. Yes, please. Okay, here we are. It's late at night and I'm uploading a file. 39%. I'm so tired. I need a coffee. I need to go and get a coffee. I need to stand up to go and get that coffee. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Can we do anything around here? What was that? Oh, I can sit down again. But I need to stand up to get the coffee, of course. Okay, we've got working desk lamps. That's good. Can't make any long distance calls. That's a bit of a shame. Nothing to print. No. Okay. Um, right. Uh, let's go. 
and walk into glass, apparently. Okay, all right, yeah, I, I meant to do that. <laughs> Promise. Right, so, this is the office, and I'm all alone, am I? Hmm, we'll see about that. Let's go this way. Uh, all right. Just looks like uh, another office, really. I presume that somewhere around here we're going to find a kitchen? Something like that? Not around there. I'm also wondering how similar this is going to be to One Late Night. What was that? It's locked. Use the other door. Oh, hang on. This this is it, I think. In fact, I think that's the coffee machine right there. Okay, um, so I've got to go around. Yeah, One Late Night. It's got a similar premise. It's a game I played... Hmm, five, six years ago? Maybe, maybe even longer ago now. I don't really know. But yeah, that was pretty solid. That was, uh, that was short and sweet. So I'm hoping this is uh, as good, if not better. Okay. Yeah, so there are some locked doors around here. Most of them seem to be open. Right, so this way. Okay. At this point, I'm just sort of checking the doors. Here we go. This one works at the very least. Right, so... Yeah, take a coffee. And that's it. Go straight back to your desk. <laughs> okay, so... Nothing here? Yeah, go fridge. Go freezer, too. Don't forget the freezer. What we got here? Ooh, okay. Are these all toilets? Can't really tell. I think so. But, um, yeah, very, very dark. I don't have a flashlight or anything. I did notice that it, it mentioned a flashlight in the controls. I guess I haven't actually found it yet. And this is just, what, another office? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Mm-hmm. This way? I still have works to do. I, I certainly do. I certainly do. I guess this is the uh, reception area, really. Bit of a meeting room here. Okay, all right. Cool, good stuff. So, which one was it? Was it down here? It was this one all lit up, wasn't it? Right, okay. What's going on here? Oh. Hang on. Hello. Do you want to play? 279%. What's wrong with my PC? Someone's messing with me. Maybe it's just a colleague. Or maybe it's something else. Okay. Doesn't look like anything else changed. Hmm. Let's see then. Um, maybe it's time to leave. Maybe it's actually time to go. Yeah, I think maybe uh, I've been working a little bit too long. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I the front door's gone. The front door is definitely gone. I think I am hallucinating. What was in that coffee? Yeah, what's happening? Just want to make sure it's it's actually gone, right? It's gone. Okay. Um. Was there some sort of, like, back entrance? Uh, I don't think so. I wonder, can I actually unlock this door from the side? I can't, no. Okay, so this is kind of a dead end for some reason. Uh, maybe I can find a key. I don't know. If the front door's missing, I'm probably not going to find a key for the kitchen, am I? Through here? What? Ooh. Alright, okay, we got, we got moving chairs. I don't think it's a colleague. <laughs> yeah, it was that that tipped me off. It wasn't the front door disappearing. Okay, am I going to find something in one of these other offices? Do you Ooh. Maybe. Shall I go in there? Let's go in here. Enter a password? A password? Uh, sit down. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's crack the password. Is it... Oh, I, I need to find the password first. Well, yeah, that would <laughs> that would make sense. Okay. Ah, oh, what's this? Ah, hang on. Now oh, we can have a better look at it here. So this is a layout. This is a map of the office, is it? Okay. So it looks like one's going to be in the sort of kitchen area. Two is in that other office. Three is that room at the end. Okay, five seems to be... One of the toilets, I guess. Okay. Um. Well, let's get to the kitchen, I suppose, right? Let's stand up. Cool. 
What's this? The, the darkness will help you? The darkness will help you. Well, it's a good fucking thing I don't have a flashlight then, isn't it? Okay. Um, so let's go this way. Because uh, only one of the doors to the kitchen actually works. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's a colleague of mine. Huh. <laughs> I'm going to have to go down there, right? Because there's something in the toilet. Right, so the darkness. Oh, at least this door's open, though. Um, okay. So, is there like a light switch or something somewhere? Maybe on the outside here? It's quite dark. I think that's the point, though. Oh, 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 they're here. Fair enough. Okay. Ah. That's it? It's on the side of the fridge. Go fridge. Okay, so five. One is five, so that's the first digit, is it? Okay, alright. Um, let's see if we can get back to that office, and let's see which room we have to go to next. I think it was the one at the very end, wasn't it? Like that one over there, and then to the right, next to mine. Okay. Uh, oh no, that's that's three, but next to it... Okay, okay, sure, sure. So, that's going to be three. Two's in here, apparently. Okay, so again, I need to turn the light off. Four. Four. Okay, we got it, we got it. Okay, so it's five, four. And then, something in here? Okay, well, I don't think the uh, the light switch is going to be an issue. Well, there it is. What is this? Just like a storeroom, a server room? Okay. I'm looking up. I'm looking down. Behind the door. Behind the door, I find a one. Okay, all right. Five, four, one. So we just need four and five. Okay. All right. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this so far. So four is the one that's next to the kitchen. And then five is like the third toilet, I think. Okay, so we actually do want to go this way. I think I, yeah, I can run, but I don't really want to, because plants could trip me up. You see? There's trip hazards everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be where uh, we find the fourth digit. So, it's a zero, apparently. Okay, cool. Uh, I could probably crack it at this point, really, but uh, I think I'm going to check out the toilets. I think I'm going to check out where I saw that shadowy figure running. Down here somewhere, right? Okay, so I can just about see it, but there's one, two, it should be... I think it should be this one here. Okay. Okay, so I can confirm it is a toilet. Fantastic. And they do have soap. Always good. Um... We're looking for... Aha! We're looking for a 1. Okay, so it's 54101, I think. I think I've cracked it. And I haven't been killed. Yet. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go this way, I suppose. Yeah. Front door's still not back. No, okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, I guess we're not done with work quite yet. So, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Let's see if I've cracked it. Let's see if I can maybe go home. So, 54101. That's correct. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Take the flashlight and get ready for the second round. Remember, follow the arrows. Okay. Well, there's an arrow. Don't trust her. Huh? So maybe I shouldn't follow the arrows? I don't really know. Where the hell did that come from? Okay. Escape. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done, especially when the fucking front door's missing. But don't trust her, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Alright, for some reason I feel a lot more vulnerable. 
not seeing any more arrows or anything. That's a dead end. That's still that's still a connector to the other side. I guess I'll go through. Maybe I do have to follow the arrow? I don't know. Hmm. Who's the entity that says don't trust her? Is it her? Is she like double bluffing me? Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Alright, well she is coming. She is coming. I Whoa! Okay. No, that took me by surprise. That one didn't. Okay, through here. Right. Is she, okay, she's she's still coming, but she did actually come out of the- Yeah, the front door does exist. Close it. There we go. Okay, right. Right. Uh, fuck. Right? I don't know. Let's, let's go this way. Let's go this way, and then we'll go over here. And then we'll realize that we're still getting chased. I can hear her behind me. Um, am I just going in a circle? I think I am. Let's go this way. Uh, this way. This way. I'm actually just- I'm not going to follow the arrows. I can't trust her, right? I'm gonna go the opposite direction. Yeah? Alright! Is that it? I survived. It's always good. Unfortunately, no one believes your story. <laughs> Will you be back tomorrow? Oh. Is this like a, a multiple ending kind of thing? Um, despite what happened, Yes, I will, because that was kind of fun. Okay. Well, the upload's finished, I suppose. Uh, no flashlight this time? Why did you leave me? Oh! <laughs> Is that how you leave it? You finished it off with a jump scare? Apparently so. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't anything too special, honestly. Um, a little bit better than mediocre. Not as good as One Late Night. It wasn't quite as complex as One Late Night. I did actually quite enjoy looking around the office, turning the lights off, looking for the digits to crack the code and everything. And I enjoyed the little maze section at the end. I knew what the hell to do very quickly. Maybe it should have been a little bit more complex. Maybe a few more things that got in your way. A few more dead ends or something like that. Or maybe I just got lucky. But, um... Yeah, that was Nightmare Shift, and uh, I had fun with that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Uh, let's go. <laughs> and walk into glass, apparently. Okay, alright, yeah, I, I meant to do that. <laughs> Promise. Yeah, go fridge. Go freezer, too. Don't forget the freezer. I've been working a little bit too long. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I'd... The front door's gone. The front door is definitely gone. I think I am hallucinating. What was in that coffee? What? Ooh. Alright, okay, we got we got moving chairs. I don't think it's a colleague. <laughs> yeah, it was that that tipped me off. It wasn't the front door disappearing. The darkness will help you. Well, it's a good fucking thing I don't have a flashlight then, isn't it? Oh. Oh. I think I, yeah, I can run, but I don't really want to because plants could trip me up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who's the entity that says don't trust her? Is it her? Is she like double bluffing me? Oh shit! <laughs> Why did you leave me? Oh! <laughs> Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing SCP-087. Now, this isn't the first time that I've played a game based on this SCP. In fact, I think this is going to be the third or the fourth time. But uh, this one's just been released, and this one apparently is a little different than the others, and it's apparently well worth playing, so I thought I'd give it a go. If you want to give it a go as well, look down below in the description. The links and the details are down there, and you can actually download this for free. If you enjoy this, please show some support by leaving this video a like, or maybe a comment down below. Hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, we're straight in, and we're recording. Exploration 4, was it? Right. Radio comms muted, and I cannot leave. Or can I? Can I? Yes! You can leave! You can leave! And that's probably the wise move, honestly. You probably don't want to go down that staircase, but... Hey! Brilliant! <laughs> this is why I check, because occasionally it does work. But uh, yeah, that did actually quit the program, so let me just load that back up again. I'm really happy about that, though. Okay, this time around I'm not going to leave immediately. Let's play. Right, okay. So, down we go. 
for the uninitiated, SCP-087 is an endless staircase, or a near-endless staircase, located on a university campus somewhere, I think? I don't know if it's ever properly specified where it is. Well, it probably has been, but I think that information's been redacted, right? That's the SCP way. Um, so I guess we're... We're going down, and we're, we're trying to find the bottom. Yep, there you go. Yeah, located on the campus of Redacted. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep, no lighting fixtures, no windows, as we're seeing. Hmm, okay. So, that's why we're getting fairly dim lighting. It's not yet been discovered. Until now! <laughs> I'm about to do it. Okay. So, I'm not going to lie to you. The majority of the gameplay is probably going to be me going down a staircase. Alright, it seems like in the bottom left we're, we've got a little bit of a counter on how many floors we've gone down. This is 12 down now, and we're 31 meters below. Okay, is that someone banging on the door behind me? <laughs> I've already left, so I don't want to do that again. Let's just keep on going down. Yes, people have gone missing on this staircase. I think I'm about to add myself to that list. Hmm. Well, I made it out. <laughs> At least the first time. Yeah. Maybe there is another exit down here. But an exit to what? I don't know. Yeah. It's an interesting SCP. I mean, there's, there's many, many brilliant SCPs. But this one has captivated a lot of people. It's something quite simple, and uh, a lot of games have been made out of it. It's one of the first ones that I was introduced to, and maybe because of that, it's one of my favourites. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing footsteps, but they might not necessarily be my own. I'm just going to keep on going down. Yeah. 24 floors down now, okay. I mean, at this point, I better hope there's an exit down there, because I would not like to climb 26 flights of stairs. Great sound effects. Whimpering, crying. Maybe from one of the students that went missing. Or maybe from something else. Sounds like I'm getting closer to it. Oh, you can hear the sound of crying beneath you. Yes, I can, certainly. You can estimate that the source is around six flights down. Okay. That's a pretty good estimation. I guess I've been trained for this. Right. Can't really look down over the barrier because the, the light isn't great. We're getting close, though. We're getting very close. Okay. I should be approaching the source of the crying very... very soon. Oh, shit. Okay, keep going, keep going. And again. And again. Right. The sound does not appear to be coming any closer. Now, I was just going to say that. It, it sounds like it's getting further away, if anything. The source of the crying never increases in volume, despite your descent. Weird. Multiple explorations were conducted into the structure. Yes. This being one of them. Is that my heart... This doesn't make any sense. I, maybe this is it. Maybe this is where we find that end point. We are making a lot of progress here. 
44 flights now. Yeah, I, I can still just about hear some crying, but yeah, like I said before, it doesn't seem to be getting any closer. I'm not getting closer to it either. It's like it's always six flights of stairs away. And who's crying? Is it one of the missing students or faculty? Or is it SCP-0871? I... Whoa. Did, did I just see something behind me? I think maybe I did, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep on going down. I... I... Wait, what? There's a hole in this wall. Well, that's a little bit different. Looking... Oh, fuck me. Really? At this point? Hey, what else have I got to do, right? Yes. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, I, I tried, didn't I? I tried. Let's keep on going. The further down I get, the more nervous I get, actually. It feels like there's more at stake. Like, if I make a mistake and, you know, I, I, I die, I <laughs> it's, it's a long way back down, you know? Oh, shit. Oh boy, okay, right. Um, no comment on that? No, no comment on that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A loose piece of concrete has broken off and fallen down. Yes, yes it has. Let's try not to be underneath one of them when it happens again. I do wonder what would happen if I just go back on myself and go up the stairs. I... Did you see that? Did I... Did I see that? I'm, I'm seeing things now. Maybe I'm losing my mind a little bit. I'm losing my marbles. Oh. Oh. Okay. 61 flights. It seems like the crying is actually really, really far away. If it's still around. It's... Ooh, shit. Ooh, bollocks. Oh, I can't see where that's coming from. I wish I had a more powerful light, but it just... It just won't work. This is good. Yeah, I like this. This, uh, this might be my favorite version of SCP-087 yet. <sighs> oh, shit. There you go. There's one. But it's like I scared it away. Let's keep on going. So, in the first game that I played that was based on SCP-087, you could keep going down the staircases, but I think the game would end when you met up with SCP-0871. It would kind of kill you. This time around, I've seen it, and we're still going. Right. Oh. Yeah, I am, I am seeing things out the corner of my eye, aren't I? It appears as a face with no visible pupils, nostrils, or mouth. It's entirely unclear. It's not the source of the crying, no. It might be the source of the talking, the whispering. Ah! <laughs> oh, well that's new. More screams for help? Wait, there's another hole! Yeah, should we try it? Yes, let's try it! Still too dark, I assume. Ooh. A sound was heard behind me. Oh, fuck. Oh! And- Whoa! Oh shit, okay! Am I- am I- I don't know if I'm dead. Something knocked me to the ground and the video camera was dropped. But I think I'm okay. I'm okay! Alright. Pick up the camera and continue. The hell was that? Right, okay. Well. That was SCP-0871, wasn't it? Down here? Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Seeing him more frequently now. Feels like this is his realm. Right. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Ain't no SCP gonna slow me down. Oh no. Gotta keep on moving. Wait. This is the final exploration? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Well. <laughs> this does not bode too well for me, does it? Am I going to make it to floor 100? Am I going to make it into triple digits? I kind of hope so. Then you can etch that on my fucking grave. Oh dear. Yep. This is a very unnerving experience. Hell. Hell is this way. Okay, right. Sign me up. Okay. Ten more flights of stairs. And I'll be at a hundred. And I can hear that crying again. It just gets dirtier and dirtier, doesn't it? it oh shit. Shit. Okay. 250 meters down now. That's a... Uh, that's a pretty long staircase. Oh shit. You stop. SCP-081 appears ahead of you, but this time your body locks up against your will, unable to move. It holds eye contact. Not with you, but directly into the camera you're holding. It seems entirely fixated on the camera lens, appearing to stare at those viewing the footage. You can start to move your body again. Okay. So he's looking at you guys. Oh shit, I fell down the stairs! <laughs> I think I fell down the stairs. But I'm okay. It was just a, a little slip. Right. Okay. I feel the end is near, honestly. Sounds in this game are absolutely fantastic. I like the visuals, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, the visuals are good, too, but the sound is where it's at. What is this? What is that? Wait, what's this? What is all this? Okay, just keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, God. Oh, look at all this blood. Are these spikes, or is it like rope hanging down from the ceiling? I think they're spikes. I'm gonna maneuver around them. 101. 102. I'm setting a new record here, guys. Whoa! Okay. Alright, that actually seems to do some damage to me. Uh, yeah. Nevertheless, I'm gonna keep on going. Oh god. Pieces of long, hair-like material are reaching up from the ground. Right. So that's what it is. It's hair-like material. Only observed in this exploration, a strange organic material covers the walls deep within SCP-087. Yeah, maybe. May Ooh. <laughs> maybe I'm just walking into its stomach, essentially. Wait, 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 what did that say? What did that say? Oh, shit. Okay. I, uh, I don't like how some of the narration is done in sort of retrospect. <laughs> Again, doesn't bode well for me, does it? I will meet my end soon. Oh. Very soon. Oh, there's many of them. Oh, shit. Wait, I'm- Oh! The camera was dropped. Wow. It just kept falling. Huh. <laughs> it's me trying to get out. Hmm. Yeah. 
Jesus. It's a shame the counter's not working. I think I'd be at like 200, 250 there. And the signal's lost. And so ends exploration number four, I suppose. There you go. Yeah. Another version of SCP-087, and one that I enjoyed very much. That was very creepy, it was very eerie, very atmospheric. Loved the sound design, loved the sound effects. It, it made it, uh, you know, a very frightening experience, honestly. Um, yeah, no, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed that, and I hope you did as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. I cannot leave. Or can I? Can I? Yes! You can leave! You can leave! It's not yet been discovered. Until now! <laughs> okay... Oh dear. Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing footsteps, but they might not necessarily be my own. I, whoa... Did, did I just see something behind me? It's a long way back down, you know? Oh shit. Wait. Did... Did you see that? Did I... <sighs> oh shit! It might be the source of the talking, the whispering. Ah! A sound was heard behind me. Oh, fuck. Oh! And... Whoa! Hell. Hell is this way. Okay, right. Sign me up. It seems entirely fixated on the camera lens, appearing to stare at those viewing the footage. So he's looking at you guys. Oh shit, I fell down the stairs! Yeah, maybe. Maybe- ooh, sh Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called The Spot H9. Now, if you want to play it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description, and you can actually download and play this one for free. Now, this was created for a game jam. It's going to be a first-person horror experience where I think I've just been shopping. I'm going back to the multi-story car park to find my car and get out of there. And apparently I parked in spot H9. Sounds simple enough. So, let's give it a go. Hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end. Here we go. Spot H9. Did I... did I click it? I, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Uh, so yeah, people have mentioned that despite its looks, this is actually quite a good game. So, what do they mean? Do they mean I can leave? No. No, they don't. I guess I've already put my trolley away. Or oh, sorry, shopping cart for the Americans. Ah! Hmm. Am I locked in? That's not good. That's never good. Okay, so let's see. J1, B... J1? And then B1? Okay. Uh, and there's A over there. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Right, so... Let's just... I need Oop. to check my ticket first. You do? You need to check your ticket first. How do you do that? I need to check my ticket first. I'm struggling to find out how you do that. Is there a button for it? Is it something to do with this? Oh, it is. Okay, it's space to check the ticket. Let's see. Well, it should be... Yeah, it's H9. Alright. Okay, so that's an H9. <laughs> yeah, just basically plaster it on your eyes so you can definitely see it. Hey. Okay. Hey. Oh no, dear. No, 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 no. Oh dear, yeah. Um. Oh shit. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I need some light. Alright, so it's, it's space for the phone, left mouse button to check my car, apparently. Okay. Alright. Very low level of light, so this could get kind of creepy, but right, um... No invisible barriers this time. It's over there. It's at the far side of this floor of the car park, it looks like. Okay. Oh. Hello? Who's that? Hmm. Not sure. Maybe we don't want to know. Should we go this way? The arrow is pointing this way. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, right. Uh, I might want to get out of the way. I don't know. Oh, oh boy. Whoa, what? You had gone straight through the wall. Fucking hell. Right, okay, so let's, let's just see. Over there? Yep, over there. Fair enough. 
We're getting closer. We just have to avoid anyone. Trying to kill us. And let's ignore the whispers. We don't need any of that. Right. Let's see. E4. Uh, should we cut across a little bit? Let's cut across a little bit. Again, the arrow does seem to suggest we want to go this way. What the hell? What the hell indeed. Uh. Uh. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have to admit, I did actually get a little bit panicked there. I thought she was going to really run after me. Okay. Wait, C4? Wait, I'm what? alone and scared. Oh. I lost my mommy. Where did you come from? Yeah. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Of course not. Behind you, look. Why? What's behind me? There's nothing behind me, is there? No. Oh. <laughs> Where did you go? Yeah. Okay, this is this is weird. I Hang on. Wait, my car's over there now? I'm I'm losing it a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm losing my bearing certainly in the darkness. Okay. All right. I uh, I can see why people recommended me this game to be perfectly honest. Yeah, this is actually okay. E3, yeah. I certainly like the premise. I mean, it's, it's it's basic. D3 now? Hang on. Oh, come on. Where am I going? What is this? <laughs> right. I'm, I'm not even going to check anymore. I'm not going to have a look at any of the writing on the wall or anything like that. I'm just going to head for this far corner. Because I think that's where my car is parked. We're going to ignore the whispers. We're going to ignore any ghosts. F6, I do seem to be getting closer. I said I was going to ignore that though, so I'm... <laughs> Is that a dragon? It's a dragon. Mate, have you seen my car? I can't seem to find it. <laughs> Alright. Some of the sound effects are working. Yeah. G7, we are getting very, very close. H Here we go, look at this! Oh, fuck. Right off. I saw the light change, so that was me... Well, that's me going to the far corner again, isn't it? It's over there. Oh, my God! So... Uh, Alright, yeah, well, this is harder than it seems, isn't it? Um, Let's go this way. I'm basically going to hug the left wall. Or hug the left car for the most part, you know? I'm just going to sort of go along this way, around the perimeter, and then turn right at the end. Because it is at the far corner. If we can get to A9, that'll be good. Is A9 available? A7. We're getting there. We are. Like that. Oh, okay. Um... That looked like a pretty big spider. I'm going to hug the right side of this. <laughs> Hopefully I don't hear any skittering. B8. We got bait. B9? B9. Okay. Yes. So this is it. It, it. it should just be right down here. Let's confirm with the key. There it is. It, yeah, that car right at the end. I quite like this, actually, yeah. Um, I, I think it does need more work. It would be better if it wasn't just like a game jam game, but I do really like the premise. E1, we're going back on ourselves again, you son of a bitch. That isn't my car, is it? Oh, come on! And to be honest, the way it transports you around is pretty good. It's fairly unnoticeable. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's that fucking spider again. Right. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, maybe I should just carve a path right through the middle like I tried to initially. Or maybe I should just follow the arrows. I'm not really sure. Right, where is it? From here. It's over there. Okay, right. I'm going to head in this direction. 
There's always something that gets in the way. It's a shame that there's so many cars that you have to maneuver around because that just displaces you. F6, come on. F7. We are getting close. F8. If I can get to F9, that'll be great. But I think I just... I saw the loading blip, you know? I, I saw myself move across. Now we're at C1, so what? It's like over there or something? Is there an end to this? I don't know anymore. Next time I want to go shopping, I'm going to walk. <laughs> that is, if I get the chance to go shopping again. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. F. Can I get a G? Oh, there's nothing on this one. Can I get a G, please? G1. Okay, okay. Forget about the numbers. We've got the letters right. That... Oh, shit. It's fucking A again. H doesn't exist. Okay. I really like the idea. I really like the premise. I hope this is worked on more and it's just refined and it's polished up. Ah, shit. Where are we going? Like, over there? No, over there. Okay, of course. Yes, of course. You see, I, I am just kind of losing my bearings. I wasn't kidding. This game is doing a very good job of that. At some point, I will be able to get to my car, right? At some point. It's going to happen. Okay. E7. F7. Yes, okay. Uh, can I get G7 again? Is it going to be G7 or is it going to be B, C? What's it going to be? G7. Okay, G7. We're at G7. Um, in theory, H7. In theory, it should be over there. And it looks like it is. What's the catch? We're at hate. H9. H9, this is it. This is my car! And I'm at the wrong side! Oh, man, I... Oh, what just happened there? I think I tried to get in the car, uh, but now I'm just sort of sitting on it. Yeah, no, this is definitely your car. <laughs> I think I'm, yeah, I'm sort of stuck on the door and the wing mirror. Oh boy. Um, I, I, I don't know if I can actually get out of this. Is this the end of the game? I mean, I found it. I found my car. I just can't leave. Um, yeah, something's up here. Something's definitely up. H6. Ooh. Oh dear. Come on. H7. Yeah, let's not give up now. Come on. That looks like the corner. H8, yes. Come on. This is it, yeah? It's actually in front of me. Right, this time I'm going to approach the left side of the car, okay? Let's see if we can get in and drive out of here before it just moves us around again. Okay, uh... I'm not stuck again, am I? Oh, hey! Uh... <laughs> and that is how it might end. Being eaten by a dragon in a parking hall. Keep that in mind. Yeah, keep that in mind, everyone. Next time you go shopping, just in case. That's right. Beware of parking dragons. All right. I wasn't aware when I started playing this game, but yeah, it's a PSA. And that's it. That's the end. That was Spot H9, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. That was a silly ending, but one I quite enjoyed. And overall, yeah, I think I quite enjoyed the game. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this. I can't believe I went through the game a second time just to get eaten by a dragon. Maybe I was better off getting stuck on that right side door. Silly. Silly, really. I will say what I said before, though. I wish this wasn't a Game Jam game. I wish this was a little bit more polished. I wish there was a little bit more time and effort put into this. I think this, conceptually, is a really good idea. Fundamentally, this is a fantastic idea, actually. Uh, you know, being put in a, an, an easily navigatable place with the grid system and everything, you think you know where you're going. It should be simple enough, right? But it's not. In the darkness where you can barely see anything, you're bumping into things, there's scares, sounds all over the place. 
and then you transport it. You get discombobulated. That's really good. That was probably the highlight of the game. I think there's some really good ideas here, but they just need more time and effort put into them. And I think there could be something special within, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm talking bollocks. But let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. Okay, so let's see. J1, B... J1? It's an H9. <laughs> yeah, just basically plaster it on your eyes so you can definitely see it. The arrow is pointing this way. Okay. Uh... Um... Oh shit. Wait, C4? Wait, I'm what? I'm alone and scared. Oh. I lost my- D3 now? Hang on. Oh, come on. Where am I going? <laughs> Is that a dragon? A7. We're getting there. We are. E1. We're going back on ourselves again, you son of a bitch. That isn't my car, is it? Oh, come on! F8. If I can get to F9, that'll be great. But I think I just... Next time I want to go shopping, I'm going to walk. G1. Okay, okay. Forget about the numbers. We've got the letters right. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, this is definitely your car. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, I'll be playing a game called Inside the Dark. And if you want to play it for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links and the details are down there, and you can actually download this for free. Now, not a lot is given away about this game. I don't know what we're going to be doing. I don't know what the plot is, who the characters are, or anything like that. If you look at the download page, all it says is, you wish it never happened. Now you wander with nowhere left to go. Hmm. Don't know what to make of that, but let's find out as we begin a new game. Hope you enjoy it. So, ever since that day, I've kept wandering in the dark. Alright. So instantly I'm thinking, am I in some sort of purgatory, some sort of limbo? I'm in some sort of area where I can't leave, the door won't open. But to be honest, I do appreciate that I can try the door. Um, I don't have a flashlight, but I suppose I will get a flashlight at some point. Right, uh, let's see. Okay. It is very, very dark. I can't wait until I get that flashlight. Yeah. This is, uh, getting very, very good reviews. A lot of people like this game. Okay, that's a very blurry door at the end of a very blurry hallway. Let's have a look, shall we? Just an ellipsis. That's all I get. Okay. A little bit odd. Uh, fair enough. Well, I think, yeah, there's a, there's a door over there in the darkness that I can just about see. Ah, but I can't get in. Okay. I guess I can go up the stairs. Anything underneath the stairs? Oh, God. It, it's far too dark. I have absolutely no idea. Let's go up here. Come on. Gotta find this flashlight soon, right? Oh, in fact, that might be it. Right. There you go. What was that? Sounded like it was maybe down there. Oh, oh, the <laughs> I didn't realize there was an opening there. Bloody hell, okay. Maybe it was that door opening. Or maybe it was that door closing. Let's see. It's locked. Huh, okay. Oh, there's another door back here. I didn't even see this one. Let's have a look. Okay, that won't open either. Right, okay. And yeah, nothing underneath the stairs. Well, there is an open door up here, so let's go take a look, shall we? Seems quite rough around the edges, but, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a sort of brooding atmosphere already. What, this room feels strangely familiar. Do you recognize her? Can we go this way? Oh, it's locked. Oh, okay, well, there's a there's a kitchen through here, by the looks of it. And a big old blood stain. Is this what you wish never happened? I can't seem to examine it or anything. 
Bloody hell, I really do need my flashlight. Okay, so nothing in the freezer, nothing in the fridge. A key on the countertop, though. Yeah, a key? Yeah, a key. Oh. What was that? Oh. Right. Oh, oh, shit, I'm watching you. You're watching me? Hmm. Ah, it's still locked. Okay, so the, uh... Yeah, that's right. The key doesn't seem to fit here, either. Wait, so... Does it not work here, either? Oh, it does. Okay. So I don't know what the... Oh, sh <laughs> that was fucking subtle. <laughs> uh, okay, that was uh, that was pretty good actually. Yeah. Okay, let's just go this way. Um, I don't know if the key was for that door or if it was maybe for one down here. I'm gonna try this door again. There's something up with this door. There's something up with this entire hallway. Nah, still ellipsis. Okay, I don't know if I need to find a key or if that's just gonna open at some point or I don't know. Maybe it's just gonna remain like that. I guess it's gonna be one of these two. Right, right, here we are. Yeah. Okay. So who did I see sitting down in that chair briefly? Why? Why, 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 why? Why indeed? No one's sitting down here, but... No. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I think I might be taking a seat myself. So, yeah, why? Why am I doing this? Oh. Oh dear. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I can't seem to use the flashlight. I can't get up. Okay. Another key? Another key. Right. So Okay. <laughs> I keep getting freaked out and scared at these odd moments. Like, I'm expecting a jump scare. It doesn't quite get there. But then I'm spooked straight afterwards. But, yeah, how, how did I end up here? I remember grabbing that key. And now I'm here. And I presume this doesn't work? No? Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna give up with that door at this point. Right. Well, let's go back. Oh no, no, the door's locked. It seems the lock's been tampered with. Never mind. Alright, well, let's try this one then. I oh, right, yep. <laughs> of course, it's a fucking basement. Oh boy, alright. Can I get out of here? I mean, can I leave at least this stairway? No, no, the, the key doesn't work from this side. Wonderful. Okay, well, I'm trapped. I think my uh, previous actions got me here and got me trapped in the first place, but... Uh, okay. What is that? There's a piece of paper. I think it says... I don't know if you can see this on the video. It says, face your fear to move on and it won't open. Face your fear. Where's my fear? <laughs> oh. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I was looking for a way out. Maybe this is it. Yeah, I, I assume I killed her. Probably in the kitchen. That was the blood stain. And now she's haunting me. I haven't got to sit down again, have I? Oh. Hmm. No, can't seem to use this one. It sounds like the door was closed though, so... This is really quite unsettling and it's quite uncomfortable to play. I really do feel like I'm gonna get spooked and it's gonna be... You know, it's gonna weird me out or something like that. It's a really good atmosphere, yeah. Oh, there you go. You only see a brief glimpse of her. She's always quite far away as well. I'm sure if you saw her up close, you'd see all the, you know, the horrible little details, and uh, you'd see how the model doesn't look too good. But from afar, she's freaky. And oh, come on. Okay, my flashlight just is not working anymore. 
I can just get a teeny tiny little bit of light, but that's it. And there's a there's, there's some sort of light ahead of me. Oh god. Okay. I, uh, oh no, that's <laughs> it's not her. It's a it's a column. It's a pillar. It's a support for the ceiling. Right. So nothing spooky around here. No. Um, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna sort of head to the the whoosh. I'm gonna head to her. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. Right. Wait. So does this work now? Yeah, it does. Um, what's that? Is that a dagger? Oh no, no, it's a floating key. Ellipsis. Oh, I know what that means. I know what that means. I know where that's gonna go. I'm just out of interest. Can I go through here, or is that gonna be mysteriously locked? Yeah, it's locked. Weird. Okay, so I guess the answers are <laughs> Yeah, funnily enough the door's just open now. Yeah, I guess the answers are gonna be through this white door. Yeah, walk towards the light. Here we go. Ooh. It's never going to end. I've made my decision. <laughs> and the decision was made to end the game there, apparently. So, um, that was Inside the Dark, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, of course. So, what did you think? I thought this was short, but sweet. Very sweet. I really enjoyed this. In a short period of time, it sucked me in, mainly because of the atmosphere. As I said before, it was brooding. A lot of it was very unsettling, uncomfortable. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of mystery to this. You don't really know where you are, why you're here, like what's going on. So you don't know what you're going to be walking into. As it turns out, it's often going to be her who's always watching. I really enjoy the way that the scares were orchestrated in this. Aside from that one sort of jump scare where you pick up that key and then her face is, you know, right in your face. Um, it's like the game left it up to you to scare yourself. You always sort of put yourself in these situations by just wandering around and you, you, I don't suppose you really needed to look right and see her in the chair watching you, but I did and it freaked me the fuck out. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting an orchestra sting, something like that, and I didn't get it. And I was just sort of caught off guard, I suppose. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. A short but very sweet experience. I enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. See you next time. Am I in some sort of purgatory? Some sort of limbo? I'm in some sort of area where I can't leave. The door won't open. What was that? Oh, it does. Okay. So I don't know what the- Oh dear. Another key. Right. A... Oh, right, yep. <laughs> of course, it's a fucking basement. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna sort of head to the- The- Whoosh! I'm gonna head to her. <laughs> Between 1997 and 1998, Building 71 at a university in the south of Brazil was closed after allegations of a gas leak. However, during this period, on several occasions, suspicious activities were detected from within the building. An employee whose identity was not disclosed decided to investigate and record the origin of such activities. The man ended up being considered missing by the police, but portions of the recording are now being released to the public. 
and that's what we'll be playing through. This is the Building 71 incident, and if you want to play it for yourselves, look down below in the description because the links and the details are down there. I really hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Alright, so here we are. And I've already checked, by the way, unfortunately I can't turn the VHS filter off, but thankfully I can just about see what's going on. Okay, so, of course I'm holding a camera, right mouse button to zoom in, and out, alright. I suppose that's building 71 in front of me, that's where we're going. Got some dice up here by the looks of it, which I guess I can't interact with. Can't honk the horn, and I can't leave, oh no. <laughs> I can't get out of the car, that's a problem. I'm just gonna have to drive straight into the building. Did I see something over here? Oh. Oh, the glove box? Oh, what's this? Is that a flashlight? It was. Hey! It's a pretty good one, too. Alright. Anything else? Nothing up there? No? Can't turn behind me. Oh, but now I can leave. Maybe I needed the flashlight to see the handle to get out. But yeah, here we are, sneaking into Building 71. I'm looking forward to this one. I like the premise. This was made over a couple of months for the devs' undergraduate thesis, as I understand. So yeah, I wish him well. I hope this is a good one. Alright. Nothing in there by the looks of it. Okay, already showing quite a lot of uh, interactivity, you know? I guess we won't be using the computers, no. Okay. Uh, I suppose a lot of this is going to be in Portuguese as well, so <laughs> chances are I won't really understand what's written. Like this, for instance? Uh, oh, actually, well, I don't understand what's written here for a completely different reason. Actually, maybe I understand some of it, yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. This way? Okay. Well, let's just have a little look around, shall we? A little bit of urban exploration. What's going on in this place, I wonder? <laughs> Windows 97, my goodness. <laughs> Alright, 204. Another classroom by the looks of it. But it looks like it's been through the Blitz. What the hell happened here? Hmm. Okay. Don't suppose I'm going to find much that's all that useful here. Let's move on, shall we? What about this one over here? Oh, that's all locked up. Oh, you know, there's the stairs. All taped off. That, I suppose, would be the main entrance again, taped off. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What is that, a lift? An elevator? Doesn't seem to work. Oh? Oh, the toilet! Fantastic! Well, you know what I need to do. Let's have a look. Alright. Can I? Oh, I can! Oh, wow! Okay, anything down there? Doesn't look like it. No. Come on. No. Notes, keys, anything? No. Alright, well, it's still nice that I can interact with the toilets. Right, let's see. Can I open this? No. Alright. Uh, don't suppose I can get over that either. Yeah, even if I get past the table, I probably won't be able to get past the tables. Maybe more toilets? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Another four by the looks of it. Mm, I think this is going to be fruitless, personally, but still. Yeah, I, I like the chance to do it. <laughs> okay. Can't go in there either. Hmm. Left or right? Let's try right. Oh, that actually works! Okay. Got some beds in here. Alright. Anything in the cupboard? No. No, I haven't found anything quite yet. What does that say? Remember why you're here. What have we got here? No, I can't pick it up. Oh, I can't pick it up, but I can actually read this, and it is in English. Marcelo. Unsurprisingly, Daniel irritates us a bit. He understands well his privileges of being related to Amanda and takes advantage of them to pursue the ascension. But I ask you, the simple fact that he is not a chosen one, and this is a fact, is not enough to remove him from the group? We were never on the same page in regards to letting ordinary people join us, and you know I'm against it. I know Claudia would agree with me, at least on this matter, if she was still around. 
To make matters worse, Daniel seems to be talking to outsiders about our plans, and before you ask me, no, he is not willing to participate in the initiation. Weak as he is, it was to be expected. What? What initiation? What What are you talking about there? Hmm, okay, well there's something up in this place. Alright. Well, let's see, over here? No, that doesn't work. Well, now I'm just... Mm, okay, so certain things I can read, certain things I just see a very pixelated version of. Uh, what was this? Names have been crossed out. Rita's. Rita Andrade? Or Andrade, I think? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And someone upstairs? There could be someone upstairs. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's check these rooms out. 202, yeah, that works. We got more beds. Another sort of modified classroom. Alright. <laughs> Can't see the shopping list, unfortunately. And have a look inside. It looks pretty well stocked, honestly, and it's, it's still running. Uh, okay. Hmm. Probably should close the fridge door, actually. Uh, <laughs> what's that? Uh, not sure. Maybe without the filter, and if I got a little bit close, I could, I could read it. What we got here? Building 71 closed. Gas leak allegation. Right, yeah. Well, that's why I'm here, right? Hmm. I want to know more about this initiation. Maybe I can find out a little bit more through here. Maybe not. Through here? Damn. Well, it definitely sounded like there was someone above me, so maybe we can go back to the stairs. Maybe we can, like, leap over the tape, climb over the tables. Hey, ooh. Okay. What? Okay, well, it's uh, it's nearly 8 p.m. now, and it looks like I maybe just came out of the elevator, right? Well, uh, let's see. Let, let's go this way, shall we? Let's have a look at this room. Okay. Hmm. What about these lockers? Nothing? Anything? No? More notes? I want to know more about this initiation. Come on! <laughs> What's that? Adobe, Adobe photo shoot. Very good, very good. Uh, looks like we've got three doors here. No. No. And unfortunately, no. No more notes to speak of. Just eerie sounds coming from down there. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Over here. Toilets, right? No. A locked bathroom. This really is a horror game. Again, can't really make that out. A little bit too pixelated. Yeah, 2000 problem, right? Yeah, Y2K. Um, here? No, same kind of stuff that we saw downstairs. Hmm. Oh, hang on, this is open. Oh, boy. Uh, go on, one by one. Alright. Is it just a faulty light bulb? Is there a reason for this? Hmm. Nothing in the sinks either. Uh, Alright, well I was a little bit nervous doing that, I have to admit. This has got a, a pretty intense, oppressive atmosphere, this game. I kind of like it. What we got in here? Is that a TV? It's a TV that's working. Maybe I need to... Oh. Hmm. Well, there's a VCR right there, but maybe I, maybe I don't need a tape or I need another tape? Alright, let's see if we can find another tape. A specific one. Maybe one about the initiation. <laughs> hmm. Nothing on the board, no? Okay, yeah, we'll just we'll just leave that playing. We'll come back to it. Alright. What we got here? Can I oh hang on. Four people went missing. Hmm. As I am soon to do, right? 
Gorgon here. I laughed when I heard what they said, but when I first saw it with my own eyes, I really felt my eyes attached to it. Okay. Something else over here by the looks of it. Oh, I'm reading upside down. Hang on. I felt like I was floating, Claudia said. It was like I was really being pulled by it. Hmm. Is that a hole in the wall? Oh. Oh boy. What are you doing back here? Oh jeez, alright. Uh, ooh, hang on. We've got people here. Wearing robes. Oh damn, what have I just walked into? A am I taking part in the initiation without realising it? Wait. Oh, I think... Are they just stands? I think they're just stands. There's no one here. There's no one here, but... I guess there will be. <laughs> Oops! Okay. <laughs> A few more minutes have passed. It's 8.25 now, and... I think we're on another floor, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so, let's see. 407? No. Got a couple of lockers here. Oh. What have we got here? Claudia? I think that says 1932 if I squint. <laughs> Is that the same Claudia that was mentioned earlier? Hmm. Oh, what have we got here? Roberto. I can't contain myself. Do you realize what we've just proved? I don't know how to put it into words, but they were right in front of me. Right in front of me. And then gone. Without a shadow of a doubt, I can say, the moon is real. <laughs> I was not expecting how that was going to end. Uh, well, he's right. The moon is real. Okay, we got a couple of doors over here. Let's see. Oh, they both work. Uh, let's go left first. Alright, we got the lights on, the fans working. There's something else over here that I can kind of see. Ah, that's more like it. Okay, so... I wish the things I heard were a lie, but it seems they're not. I'm not old enough to put up with things like that, Roberto. I didn't leave you in charge of the congregation for you to take absurd actions. Initiation ritual? It seems like you're turning this into a business to take people's money and, worse yet, use the situation to feed the cravings of your sick mind. Please remember the beauty behind the Ascension and why we started the congregation. Sacrifices were never a part of it. Claudia. Claudia in 1967 when she was still around. Hmm, okay. Let's see, what else can I find? I was really, really expecting there to be someone behind me. Maybe there was. Maybe there's three of them. In body bags. Oh, damn, the sacrifices, maybe? Hmm. Okay, yeah, this is pretty sinister, actually. I think I know too much. I think I'm going to go missing fairly soon. <laughs> okay, well, next door was open too, wasn't it? So what we got here? Okay, there is something over here on the board. Uh, Lewis asked me to send you a letter as you won't be back for a few more weeks. It's getting difficult to keep an eye on the offered ones. One of them came close to escaping last night when the stairs weren't being watched, and that got me thinking. This week, we'll be piling up some of the classroom tables on the stairs, ensuring that the only viable way to get around is by using the elevator. I think that way we can ensure that no one runs away. I'd like to know your opinion. Pedro. Hmm. Well, it does seem to work. I can't seem to use the stairs myself, even now. Alright, that's locked up. Nothing there? No? Nothing to read? Lovely view of the outside. Whoa. What? Okay. Is that an eclipse? Or is is that the moon glowing red? Maybe this is what that guy was talking about. Is that getting bigger? Is the moon getting closer? Oh dear. We're in like a, a melancholia kind of situation right here. I can't seem to move. I can't get out of this. Oh boy. Oh, we are done for. Uh okay. Was I just imagining that? <laughs> Maybe I was just imagining that. Okay, that was weird. Right, let's stay away from the window, shall we? Let's see. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can play something on this TV? Uh, 
I'm still looking for a, a VHS tape, I think. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. Oh, hang on. Well, that wasn't there before. Is that a TV? Someone set up a TV. There's... There's someone here. Someone that isn't me. What is it? What is it? What am I going to say? Whoosh! Okay, this this is actually getting under my skin a little bit. I like this. Wait, we're back in this room. Wait, I, I barricaded the door. Right. Ooh, someone's trying to get in. Right, okay, yep. So it's, it's just me and the view of the moon, I think. Let's see, is it getting any closer? No, I don't think so. I'm keeping a close eye on it, but it seems to be staying put. Oh, it's no use you knocking. I don't think I can get that away. I don't think I can let you in, even if I wanted to. Yeah, that's locked up. And so is the door. So yeah, you can stop your knocking. Leave me alone. I don't want to be part of your initiation, alright? I don't want to be an offered one. Looks like I'm going to be here for a while, so maybe let's choose the, the least bloodstained. This one over here. Have a little bit of a nap. No, I can't even do that. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Did they get in? That's looking a little bit bigger than it did before. I think it is actually getting closer. I'm not sure, though. I think I've been knocked out. I think I'm done for. I guess that's the end of the tape. No, not quite. Wow. Look at this. Look at all this. Right. <laughs> Can I leave? Now? Can I leave? No. 23 past midnight. The following day, I still cannot leave. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Can't go that way. No. No chance of using the elevator, I suppose? No. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't know if it's because I was, like, beaten up or something, but I, I... No, I can sprint a little bit. I'm just not going quite as fast as usual. Yeah, I think I've been weakened a little bit. Here? No. no there is one room open. There's something on the TV this time. What does that say? Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. That's enough of that, I think. Right. So, do I pull these back? Do I peer out the window? Let's have a look at this. I don't have my flashlight anymore, so hopefully the, uh, the lighting's enough. Yeah, I can just about see it. To the members of the congregation, please remember that you're all here for an extraordinary reason, whether you're marked or not. I have read all the letters you have sent me expressing hopelessness about the Ascension, and I can tell you that I understand. In 1932, when the moon first appeared, and then at various times until 1965, when the Ascension occurred, again, I thought I would be taken, but I wasn't. I wondered why they, who barely knew of its existence, ascended, and I didn't. However, I know my time will come, and yours will too. We don't know when, but I'm convinced that the next ascension will take place in 1998. Everything indicates that it'll come back for us then. So I ask you to keep the faith. And that's Claudia. Right. Again, I was really expecting there to be someone behind me. So, do we pull this to the side? No? No, I don't think we do, actually. Maybe... Maybe there's somewhere else I can go. But yeah, look at the moon, look at the moon. That's what that symbol means, as it turns out. I'm looking at all the moons here, aren't I? 
No chance of going into this one? No, okay. Yeah, I, I do like this game. I think it's doing a lot with a little. I think a lot of it is hidden behind the VHS filter. Without that, you'd probably see through the uh, the mirage. Oh, look at that. That is giant. That... That's coming for us. Whether we like it or not. That door was not open before. Maybe this is the best place to view it. Yeah, the window's open. Wow. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You can see him performing some sort of ritual in there. Now is the time. I don't know where I am in all this. I, I guess... I guess they're surrounding me. Am, am I in the middle of them? Floating. Alright, so is that it? Is that the end of the tape? It ends with them floating up, ascending, being taken by the moon. That was the Building 71 incident, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this. I thought this was pretty good overall. As I said a little earlier, I think it does a lot with a little. I especially enjoy the rather unsettling, oppressive atmosphere the game has due to the sound effects, the environment, and I suppose maybe most of all the VHS filter, making it very unclear what you're walking into. I mean, quite literally. You're never really sure what's up ahead. You can't properly identify it until it's right up close, until you're really zooming in, so you never really know what you're sort of coming up against. Uh, I did quite enjoy the storyline, the sort of mystery presented here. To be honest, I wish this was a little bit longer so we got to know a little bit more about the group, this little enclave of people, their, their rituals, their ceremonies, the ascension. But that was that. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Which I guess I can't interact with, can't honk the horn, and I can't leave, oh no. <laughs> I can't get out of the car, that's a problem. Can I? Oh, I can! Okay. Toilets, right? No. A locked bathroom. This really is a horror game. Is that a hole in the wall? Oh. Oh, boy. Oops! I can say, the moon is real. <laughs> I was really, really expecting there to be someone behind me. Maybe there was. Is that getting bigger? Is the moon getting closer? Whoosh! Okay, this this is actually getting under my skin a little bit. I like this. Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Slide in the Woods and if you want to play this for yourselves you can actually download this for free. You'll find the links and the details down below in the description. Now, I don't know a great deal about this. It's meant to be a first-person short horror experience where I think I'm going to be playing as a kid who's just wandering through the woods when he comes across this slide in the woods. And he thinks to himself, why not slide down? And he's right, why not slide down? I'm going to slide down that slide and I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Okay, here we are. In the middle of nowhere, by the looks of it. Right, well, uh, how does this go? Up the steps, down the slide? It's been a while since I've done it, but I think that's how it goes. Right. Right. And this is a horror game? <laughs> well, you slid down the slide. Can we go home now? Probably not. To be honest, I wouldn't even know which direction to go in. So this is just situated in the middle of nowhere, is it? Hmm. Okay, well, we're here now, and uh, it was pretty fun the first time, so let's do it again, shall we? 
Here we go. Huh. <laughs> How long was I in that slide? It got awfully foggy. Awfully quick. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Well, let's, let's go up those steps and let's do it again. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah. I'm starting to think this is maybe a bad idea. Oh dear. Oh god damn. Oh shit. I... What's that? That's a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, this is a horror game, alright. <laughs> Hang on, what's this? Oh, a flashlight? It's a lost flashlight. Luckily, it still has some battery left. Well, it's not lost anymore. It's mine. Okay, so it's F to turn it on and off. Right. Someone was running behind me. That wasn't me. Alright. Okay. I'm quite liking this so far, actually. Right, should we do it again? Should we do it a fourth time? Let's see what happens this time. I mean, maybe. Maybe the slide... It feels like it's three seconds long, but it actually takes a few hours to get through. Maybe it'll be dawn soon. No? Okay. Can I look back up the slide? Oh, I, in fact, it looks like I can try and crawl up, but... Nah, it's, it's too slippy. Can't do it. Right. Well, that was uneventful, which I suppose I should be thankful about, really. Let's try it a fifth time. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it will be dawn when I emerge, you know? No. No, I'm, I'm not that lucky, I'm afraid. What's that? Another item? Okay, hang on, hang on. Up the steps we go one more time. What is that? Piece of paper? Was that Oc Ockfield News? A small town tragedy. A small town in mourning as mass missing persons case continues to go unsolved. Reports say both children and adults missing. A detective working on the case sheds light on its peculiarity, stating, It's as if they disappeared from thin air. He asks that if anyone has any information pertaining to the case, or if anyone spots one of the victims, to please contact law enforcement immediately. Hmm. This is an old newspaper, apparently. Okay. So am I in my own little dimension now? I don't think I can go home. I... Hmm. Well, there's not much else to do, is there? Let's go down again. I... Oh. Oh, shit. Again, that wasn't me. It's like someone's following me around. Like a shadow of myself or something. Okay, here we go. Up one more time. Can I slide down this? Just to... No. <laughs> I can't do that just to shake things up. It's got to be the slide. Alright. Uh-huh. It's not so fun anymore, I have to admit. Yeah, I, I really do want to go home. This has been a daft idea. You know what this feels like, actually? It feels like an SCP or something like that. Let's go up here. Right. One more time, come on. Hey. Oh, shit, right. It really does sound like someone's gonna just pop out the end here, but... No, not this time. Not this time, right. It continues, though. Well, maybe, maybe I can see something from the top. Maybe I can look down and see someone inside, or... Ooh. Ooh, boy, yeah, I should have gone home when I had the chance. Oh, shit. It's you? Like, wrapped up in plastic? Oh, damn. Oh dear. Oh dear. And he didn't come out the other end either. Oh shit. Why am I doing this? 
Because <laughs> it's a horror game, that's why. Let's do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a little bit longer now. Oh, shit. Oh, it... <laughs> it's quite a lot longer. Oh, God. Oh, I must be going through the fucking floor. I... I, I'm still going. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. I... Uh, I'm still sliding. I'm in some sort of vent tunnel. I'm, I'm crawling. Right. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. We're sort of lunging forward. Yeah, that's how we crawl. Right. I get it. I get it. Where the hell are we? Oh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. It was a fairly unassuming game to begin with, but this is actually pretty good. This is pretty effective. And it really does feel like an SCP. Maybe it is actually based on an SCP and I'm just not familiar with it. Oh, here we go again. Okay. Uh, I mean, at some point I'm going to catch up with that, that guy in the bag, right? That guy all wrapped up? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the slide goes in many different directions. And to be honest... Maybe I don't want to follow that guy. Oh? What the hell? What? Where the hell am I? Okay, well, obviously you don't want to go over there. What's this, another slide? No, it's a... <laughs> it's a giant link! In a chain! What? Is this... suspended then? Are we sort of floating here? Okay, alright. Um, let's go this way. Right, looks like we've got some steps. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> they just keep on going up. Maybe they go back up to ground level. Right, let's go up, shall we? Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I like this. They just keep on going, don't they? What the- whoa, whoa. Oh shit. There he is. And there he goes. Okay. Is this like a... a temple of sorts? Oh god. Is this like Aztec human sacrifice? This is the slab where his throat was cut and... Oh god, I have no fucking idea. What the? Oh boy. Oh, well, this is bad news, isn't it? I suppose we've got to go in. Again, we don't really have much of a choice, do we? What is this? Hey. Okay. Is it. No, 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 no. Oh. I said it was bad news. I was right. Whatever this is, it's, it's kind of beating like a heart. Remove chain. Well, um, I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. I mean, probably. Whatever this is, it's blood soaked on the bottom. Ah, uh, oh, that looks like it could be another tunnel out. And this? Attached to a chain. Right. Well, um, I don't think I've got much of a choice, so here we go. Let's remove the chain. And then this one, too? Yeah. Beating faster. Here we go. And the fourth one too. So what? It's gonna, it's gonna go down there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna go up. Maybe it's gonna go down. Ah. Oh. Here we are. Feed them. Who are they? Wait. 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 Was that just like a massive black bag? Maybe there was bodies inside that. God damn. That's going a long way down too. Okay. Is that escape? Oh shit. That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good at all. So why am I going closer to the door? Okay, right, I'm, I'm seeing something. I'm definitely seeing something. Should we go in here? I think we should go in here. Right. Gotta crawl. Gotta crawl. 
God. Okay, I'm being followed. Right. Keep on going. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that I, I can I can hear it getting closer too. It, it looked like a floating face. That's what I I think I saw outside. But apparently, it's a pretty good crawler as well, because it's keeping up with me. Apparently. Okay, come on, come on. You can hear it getting louder. It's getting closer. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. We just keep on going down. Oh man. Oh shit. Why why am I turning around? I really shouldn't be. This is probably gonna get me killed. This is gonna get me caught. Damn. I can actually hear a heartbeat now, and I think it's mine. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Alright, sliding down the side. Okay. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> if you time it right, you actually can sort of surf up and down these. <laughs> oh man. This just keeps going and going. Where's it going to end up? Well, probably where the bag did, to be honest. Right, bloody hell, right. Down? We're going down. Of course we're going down. Next time you find a slide in the middle of the woods, don't slide down it. Not unless you want to sacrifice people to some sort of ancient deity. Sounds like it's quite far away, but that's probably soon to change. That is, that's close. Go. <laughs> I really want to see this thing properly up close, but I don't want to die either, so... Okay. Oh, what's going on? That's the last thing I need, my flashlight to play up. <laughs> Am I heading towards the core of the fucking earth? What's going on? It really does keep on going. Were it not for these weird dangers, I mean, I'd actually recommend this slide. What the fuck? I could still be in some sort of temple chamber, I'm not sure. Let's keep on going, though. <laughs> right. We're back out. Oh, it's gone! It's just... gone. And that was the slide in the woods. That was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, hopefully you did as well. If you did, leave this video a like. Helps me out a great deal. And I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Up the steps, down the slide. It's been a while since I've done it, but I think that's how it goes. Huh. <laughs> how long was I in that slide? What's that? That's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, this is a horror game, all right. Can I slide down this just to... No. <laughs> I can't do that just to shake things up. It's got to be the slide. Oh, damn. They just keep on going, don't they? What the... Whoa, whoa. Okay. Is it... No, 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 no. Oh. That does not sound good at all. So why am I going closer to the door? Next time you find a slide in the middle of the woods, don't slide down it. <laughs> right. We're back out. Oh, it's gone. It's just gone.